First day of holiday here in Cambodia. Of course, bago tayo lumabas, pa-beauty muna tayo. So today, this is my routine during holiday. Because right now, I cannot go out and I don't have a choice because I'm still under recovery from um, my surgery. So, today, um, I'm just going to share to you, after washing my face, I'm just using this one. This is very effective, and I use this one after 3 weeks of recovering from shingles. And it's really effective. You can see the mark here, very light. But previously, I will show you the picture that I have after um, I got the shingles. It's really brown here. But after using this one for almost two months, this is uh, the effect. After wash my face uh, in the morning and also at night. And this one bottle is really, um, I use this one for two months now. Almost two, two months. And you can see this, this one is not sticky. But uh, you must uh, put it there. You must spread on your face. It's just very thin. Not that, not too much. Oh, you can see. And for a month, using this one a month or at least a month, you can see the effect. Now it's been two months I'm using it. So that's why you can see this. Almost fade. My scars fade away. And after this video, please check the description below if you're interested. Just let me know. And this is my room. And now, I'm going to show you the outside of the dormitory. Let's go! It's so quiet around here because I'm the only person here in the dormitory and the security guard is around, all around here in the factory. So, So this is our surrounding here in the factory. There is a small pond there. And there is also goose there. And those are our dormitory.
So right now, this is what I'm doing after going around, just came inside, and then watching news and also editing my videos. Now, I'm going to tell you why I cannot go back to Philippines for vacation. I'm still recovering from my surgery for appendectomy. When the doctor came in, he advised me to undergo some tests, laboratory, x-ray, and it's like uh, what happened is general checkup. And then they found out that I have an appendicitis. So they advised me to go. They advised me to undergo appendectomy that day. But I was so nervous. I was so uh, surprised. And I'm afraid. Totally, I'm afraid. So, this morning, I decided to message my colleagues to to tell her that uh, if she's not busy, if she can go with me to the hospital. And that's it. We go there, and um, that time, I was admitted. And they asked me to prepare. Uh, 7 o'clock is my surgery. So, they don't they don't allow me to eat but i really i'm really so hungry so at least i ate some uh, some some food and then just a little just maybe just a little and then drink some water and i was so nervous that time imagine i don't know what to do i i'm really afraid so but thankfully my um she my friend always there and she really stay with me. I thought she's just uh, going to send me there. But thankfully, she's really staying with me the whole night until I finish, this, until finish the surgery. And the next day, actually, she did a half day for that. And another friend just uh, came <clears throat> after she noticed. And another friend, after she noticed it, she also go to the hospital and stay with me. So... Because the next day she don't have work, so she can she go she stay with me and my other friend is also go back to the factory to work. So in the operating room, I'm really quivering. I think it is because of I'm afraid and nervous. So until the operation was finished, I'm still quivering. But thankfully, it's only thirty minutes all done. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. And by the way, thank you so much to Karen and Jennifer who really helped me until I until I came back here in the my room. That's all for now guys. See you next time. Thank you for watching.